There are six different primitive types that you can use when you draw row vertex data in GameMaker. There is the point list, the line list, the line strip, the triangle strip, the triangle list, and the triangle fan. The primitive type that gets most attention on most days is the triangle list, but the other five can occasionally come in helpful. Last year I made a video on point lists and some of the things that you can do with points, and just spoiler alert, there's not many. Like, there are some things that you can do when it comes to drawing individual pixels, but, well, they tend to be few and far between. And today we're going to talk about two of the primitive types that you actually find yourself using in the real world once in a while, those being the line list and the line strip. So if you had what may be considered a typical Western upbringing, you may remember as a kid playing these little connected dots games where uh, someone would print out like a sheet of paper with a bunch of numbered dots on them and you would have to draw a line from each of the dots to each other in sequence. It sounds very underwhelming explaining it as an adult. Anyway, if you've ever done one of those, you already have experience with line strips. So what I have in front of me is the same, basically the same demo program that I had for the, um, the point list video last year. I've given each of the dots numbers so that you can see which order, um, like what order they've been defined in. And I've also zoomed in, I want to say about four times, four and a half times, uh, just to make it a little bit bigger and easier to see in the video. Um, in reality, each of these points would be exactly one pixel on your screen, and I don't think that's very helpful for demonstration purposes. And right now, uh, these points are being stored in a vertex buffer. Uh, we have just six points stored in a vertex buffer, and they're being drawn with the, uh, the primitive type. They're being vertex emitted with the primitive type PR underscore point list. And let's say that I were to instead submit this with the primitive type um, PR underscore line strip and run the game now. And if you were to imagine that um, I was playing connect the dots with these, uh, these points on the screen and drawing a line between them, uh, the line would come out looking something like this. And indeed, if I were to run the game and let GameMaker do it, we have the line looking something like this. Each of these dots has been connected in sequence. Um, if I were to tack on more vertices on the end, we would, um, we would have the line continuing to wherever uh, the additional vertices live. So that can occasionally be useful. Uh, you tend to see things like that used in things such as debug visualizations. And uh, this is how a line strip works. So if I were to move on over to line list, uh, we're going to be connecting the dots in a somewhat different way. So if I were to go back to the, uh, the original example, uh, we have the six points. And instead of connecting the six points without lifting your pencil, uh, we are instead going to be, when we draw this um, the set of points with a line list, we're going to be drawing the set of points by drawing a line from point one to point two, uh, lifting the pencil, drawing a line from point three to point four, uh, lifting the pencil, drawing a line from point five to point six, and if you had more points, you would continue that way. And that is going to give us three different uh, disconnected lines. So if I were to go um, vertex submit this with PR underscore line list, uh, we have three disconnected lines from uh, 1 to 2, from 3 to 4, and 5 to 6. Now, if this has satisfied your curiosity, this may as well be the end of the video. My name is Michael. I like wizards and dragons and making games and so on and so forth. But I'm going to take a half step back into the world of 3D and a half step into the world of drawing wireframes in 3D here. And we're going to talk about using line strips for this. So, uh, let me open up uh, 3D tutorial line primitives. This is going to be... Um, springboarding off of the last dedicated 3D video that I made um, when it comes to Game Maker. And this is the, uh, the tile maps video. So we've got a tile map being drawn on the floor and we've got a bunch of uh, 3D objects, uh, Kenny trees being drawn, scattered throughout. And what if you wanted to draw, for example, these trees as a wireframe? So a wireframe is, as the name implies, instead of drawing a filled mesh where each of the faces of the triangles were entirely filled in, uh, what if you were to instead simply draw lines around the edges of each of the triangles? So the wireframe for, for example, this tree uh, would look something like this. And there's a number of ways to render wireframes in computer graphics. Indeed, there are a number of ways to render wireframes in, um, in Game Maker. Some of them are better than others. I am going to talk about simply, uh, instead of doing vertex submit with a PR underscore triangle list, I'm going to show what happens if you were to use one of the line types, uh, one of the line primitive types. And just as a forewarning, this isn't going to be a perfect wireframe. This isn't going to look 100% accurate. This isn't going to look even great. But if you want a quick and easy debug visualization for a, uh, for a 3D mesh using a wireframe, uh, then this can be a value. So I'm going to uh, actually um, set, declare a local variable. This is going to be variable 
primitive type, and I'm gonna default this to PR underscore triangle list. And I will say if um, keyboard check, if you hold the space bar, uh, let's start with the line strip. And then instead of drawing the, uh, instead of just drawing a triangle list as the primitive type, we're going to use whichever primitive type was specified here. I guess if you also want to see what happens if you draw this as a uh, triangle, I mean a, a line list, uh, we can do that as well. We could submit this vertex buffer with a triangle list, a line list, or a line strip. And now let me run the game. So I'm going to uh, come into the world and I'm going to look at some of these trees. And uh, let's hold down the space bar and this is going to be a line strip. And you can see that we have something approximating a, um, you know, a wireframe. Uh, we do have the edges of the triangles. We do have the general shape of the tree. They're even uh, colored based on uh, the vertex color because, as I said, uh, lines and points and so on and so forth that you draw uh, as a primitive type, the lines will be colored uh, as you would expect the, um, the shader to color uh, the pixels that comprise the line the same way that it would com uh, fill uh, triangles. However, uh, there are some shortfallings, and you may notice that if you look at, for example, this tree, uh, there are some lines being drawn between triangles that uh, maybe shouldn't be there. So, for example, they're in the um, the regular filled triangle view of this tree. Uh, there is no line going between the tree trunk and this branch, but if you use a, uh, a line strip, there is. And that is because when you draw uh, geometry with a line, uh, line strip, um, if the geometry was intended to be, for example, a triangle list, then the vertex that is the last vertex of one triangle and the vertex that is the first vertex of another triangle will have a line drawn between them because the line, um, the line strip primitive type does not uh, realize that uh, those two uh, vertices are supposed to be two different, part of two different uh, planes, two different, um, two different polygons. And we also have the inverse problem happening in some places. So I think I saw one uh, on this tree over here. Uh, if you were to uh, look closely at the tree trunk of this tree over here, you can see that there are not uh, two lines along the uh, the edge of the trunk over here where my mouse cursor is. And likewise, it's sort of an opposite to the previous problem. That is because um, if you're drawing a triangle with a line uh, line strip primitive type, the computer will not realize that it should also connect the first uh, vertex of a triangle and the third vertex of a triangle. It uh, doesn't realize that that should be, should be a, a closed connection, and it will instead um, draw the connection between the third vertex of a triangle and then the first vertex of the next triangle. And that's the uh, sort of the same problem as the last one happening in reverse. And you can see that there are some missing lines on some of these um, some of these faces here. But all in all, uh, this isn't bad if you want just a quick and quick and dirty uh, debug visualization. And also, we do have the um, the line list and. Uh, the line list is, as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't really do it for me the same way that a, uh, the same way that a line strip would when it comes to doing a wireframe visualization like this, um, because it has a lot of the same problems as um, as the former, except that it will actually drop even more um, edges of triangles because of uh, because of the way that the line list connects vertices. So, I think that's gonna do it. Um, I do want to talk more about wireframes in the future. If you want to simply be able to draw a wireframe with a, um, a line list primitive type, uh, you can form the vertex buffers differently. You can arrange the data in a vertex buffer differently. And if you want to draw a wireframe um, simply in a shader without having to do anything funny with the, uh, the vertex buffers of the primitive types, there are ways to do that as well. And I will be talking about that eventually. I might make those videos either next week or um, otherwise throughout October in the next month or so, uh, depending on how much I really feel like talking about wireframes, because I do enjoy a good wireframe uh, now and again, and depending on uh, whether people are more interested in seeing something like this than they are in 3D collisions, because I'm starting to get that impression. But nevertheless, uh, that's going to do it for me for today. Uh, if you want the code for either of these uh, demos. Uh, look for links for the uh, two GitHub repositories down in the video description. I have a Patreon, so if you want to contribute to the channel, links to that can be found in all the usual places. Otherwise, I try to post about two game dev videos a week, 
one tutorial tutorial like this, often on subjects such as 3D and Game Maker and uh, one Let's Make a Game, currently Bullet Hell. I hope you all found this useful, and I will see you all later. Special thanks to Army Armbuster, DJ Gibbles, Edward Holt, Game Maker, KeyXE, Cinder Larson, Squarecrow, The Oz, and Zenith for supporting these videos. If you want to support the channel, head on over to the Patreon page down in the video description to join the fun.